exchange student who was staying with a family in Phelps has arrived safely back home in Finland. News 8 told you her story a couple weeks back, and we're catching up with her today as she settles back in at home. Kayla Green has the update for us. When Mila Imonen arrived in Phelps back in August, she was expecting to stay until June. But COVID-19 forced her back home to Finland a few months early. I guess it's finally starting to hit me, and the so-called um, reverse culture shock is definitely here. I'm definitely feeling it, and it's really different. Like, I was warned about it, but... It was nothing that I'm actually feeling right now. Imonen took three flights to get back home. Before I actually got to leave the airport, um, I needed to go through all these different securities and like uh, fill up some paperwork and like showing that I'm not uh, showing any symptoms or I'm understanding what I need to do when I'm back. She's now in quarantine in her room back at home and she's also enrolled in online school in Finland. She says a lot of the restrictions there are pretty similar to the ones we have here and she only goes outside to take walks. She says she misses a lot about America. My family of course and my friends and Phelps in general like because it's so different where I live because I live in a city so mm. like being on the countryside and like experience that is something that I miss a lot. Even though it got cut short, her exchange student experience is something she says she'll never forget. I see all these places that that have that has been like a big part of my childhood for um what 17 years and now they don't feel same at all. They feel a little bit different and I don't know how like because they're completely same. Nothing has changed, but something inside me has changed. And Imonen says she'll definitely be back to explore more of the country she loves so much. Kayla Green, News 8. All right, and when she does come back, we will greet her with open arms. Imonen was rushed home because Finland wanted all its residents back in the country by April 1st.